Here we go. Well, there you go, folks. It's going to be two days with Traveler Bob. You want fishing? Guess what? I'll give you some fishing. So hang on to your hat, and I hope you got your Grundens on. We're taking off. Got the man with me. The man, the banana man. <laughs> now this is Traveler Bob weather. Winter Traveler Bob weather. That's right. See, it's kind of like they say about getting old. You know, uh, you, you can't be a pussy and get old at the same time. Well, you can't go out in the winter and be a pussy. You got <laughs> you, you gotta be tough. We're gonna go up into Mill Cove where I hid with some kids the other day and see if we can actually pull out a keeper trout. And there's gonna be a cold steel knife test at the end of this video if we get keeper trout. I'm gonna do a cold steel knife test. This, this is a real bay boat right here, not one of those wannabe bay boats. This here doesn't count. This is a minnow. <laughs> the traveler got his first one. Yep, micro minnows. <laughs> yeah, we're having a competition here. See how the See if we can catch the smallest red that we can get. We're not going for big ones. We're going for the smallest one. That might be close to the smallest one. I've caught whiting bigger than this. All right, we got a trout on. Bob's gonna, Bob's gonna snag him for me. got the first one. He didn't lose his over the side. Yeah, that's a keeper. That's a, that's a keeper. Just over barely. 15. Another one for the box. The only one in the box. I'm gonna see if I can catch one on my old favorite color, Miralure 65M. We done had to move because the wind was so bad we were catching nothing but puffer reds, really. Alright, we got a double on! And that's right behind you. in the meat. Okay, here's an update. We catch some fish everywhere we go, but they're, they're either too small or not anything very desirable. Finally! Whoa! Bob got a sheep's head! We should have caught a couple of these. Hey, big old croaker. A croaker. 
hold on because at the end of this video there's going to be a cold steel knife episode. Oh, nice he said. Woo! Oh, Palm Beach release. Time. Palm Beach release right in the neck. Nice black and white. Jetty snapper. Here's my last one, and we're going to go in and clean fish. Whoa, yeah, baby. Bob's last fish. We both said we'll catch one more, and look at that damn yellow mouther. I keep saying yellow mouth, but what they are, folks, is weak fish. They're the speckled trout's ugly cousin. All right, folks, you don't see this every day with a cold steel hold out six inch. It should be called, I'll hold you up with it. Cold steel hold out six inch. And we're gonna attempt to clean a speckled sea trout with this. steel hold down six inch. The reason you don't want to do much of this is you don't want to gum it all up. <laughs> but I've been wanting to try it. There we go. Cold steel hold out six inch. Doubles as a fillet knife if you have to. Alrighty, day number two. With the traveler. Forgot my sunglasses, so I'm blind. <laughs> and the sun is blaring. A little warmer today. A little less windy. We're doing kind of the direct opposite of what we did yesterday. Yesterday was mandatory go hide. We're staying closer to the boat ramp. So we can maybe find clean green water versus the putrid brown dirt water we fished in yesterday. We've only had a few uh, small yellow mouth. We got this asshole back here. I was going to ask him what his name is. Is his name Dickhead? He drives right up our floats and goes on the inside of us and starts float rig fishing with one of my floats type of thing. Yeah, you know where he came up with that? It came up from me. No one, no one around here even knew what a salmon type West Coast float was. Now he's setting up behind us. Don't fish for the exact fish that I'm fishing for on the same spot. I wouldn't do that in a million years to anybody because you know what? I don't even want to be near anybody. You got another one on, Bob? Yeah. We're just getting these little tiny yellow mouth right now. Eh, he's box worthy. <laughs> but that's a giant ghetto cruiser up on plane in the intercoastal waterway. I mean, a big old ghetto cruiser on plane throwing a six foot wave. Fishing some submerged concrete. Don't ask me how I know it's there.
we'll take that all day long. All right, Bob's got another keeper. Let's see. Oh, yeah, 16 incher. All right. Another one for the box. All right. Got some yellow mouthers down underneath there. They're just grease tail. Come on! sitting on a bunch of rocks and I, I knew we should have got them there's no fiddlers at the bait shop no fiddler crab so we're just using shrimp targeted species in the boat hey, Bob's on one As soon as I netted him, the hook flew right out of his mouth. Bob was just complaining that his side was a desert. <laughs> That's right. My side's a desert. Seven striped jetty snappers. We're fishing some rocks in almost 20 foot of water. I'll show you the rig. Like nothing scientific whatsoever. Just a three-quarter ounce egg coming down to a one-aught mustad. Just a little knocker rig, just like that. And I take my shrimp, live shrimp, and I go up about two, three digits up on the tail and go straight through the center. And I turn them around. the hook like that so now the hook is going through the shrimp just like that and that's it and I just vary I'm just varying the sinker according to the current most of the time you can use a 3 8 half quarter we had to go up to a three quarter the sheephead bites you kind of want to stay a little vertical if you're out on some far, far angle, it's really kind of tough to feel the bite. And we don't you want to use big, heavy sinkers. So, that's pretty much it. Ah. Woo! This little desert has turned into a, into a sheep's head farm. Okay? Egg sinkers just moving around. And there's a the hook. Right through the corner of his jaw. No problemo. No fancy BS needed. Bob's putting a hurting on him. Yeah, Bob's little desert over here is getting pretty good, isn't it? Oh, it's just a little guy. Just a little guy. He's legal, though. All right, another keeper. Another keeper for Traveler Bob. Okay, we're gonna go in and clean fish. My fish bag here is full. Not bad for a smoking small craft advisory day. That's right. Okay. So I guess we'll go back and make the donuts because these sheep said take forever to clean. We're gonna head on back to the dock.